everybody. Another video here for you today. Now I may be on screen, just sipping a beer, talking history with my friends. I did this a few weeks ago. Story just popped up. Why don't we go down to Egypt? Talk about a place I have not talked about for about three years. A lot of you have heard of Napta Ply. It's right down here. Not much to be seen from overhead, but if you zoom in, you notice some circular features down here, but there is a small astronomical observatory. Story just came out in Astronomy Magazine. Let's read. This is Astronomy Magazine. The story just came out a few hours ago. It says, Napta Playa, the world's first astronomical site, was built in Africa and is older than Stonehenge. Do we really know exactly how old Stonehenge is? But it says this 7,000-year-old stone circle tracked the summer solstice and the arrival of the annual monsoon season. It is also the oldest known astronomical site on Earth. And that is up for a little debate probably from people around the world that think they have the oldest site. But here is a look at this site here. A lot of work has been done on the astronomical alignments of this stone circle here. I have made a few videos on Napta Playa. I've talked about the alignment to Orion. I've talked about the work of Thomas Brophy. I will leave a few links below, but this story seems to have shorn up some of the dating here. But it just says, for thousands of years, ancient societies all around the world erected massive stone circles, aligning them with the sun and stars to mark the seasons. These early calendars foretold the coming of spring, summer, fall, and winter, helping civilizations track when to plant and harvest crops, and that is a little bit up for speculation. If you can align something to the stars, to the heavens, you're smart enough to do that. Well, I think you're smart enough when to plant a crop. But it says they also served as ceremonial sites, both for celebration and sacrifice. These megaliths, large prehistoric monuments made of stone, may seem mysterious in our modern era when many people lack a connection with or even a view of the stars. It says many ancient societies kept time by tracking which constellations rose at sunset, like reading a giant celestial clock, and others pinpointed the sun's location in the sky on the summer and winter solstice in the longest and shortest days of the year, or the spring and fall equinox, and that seemed to be cross-culture uh, worldwide. All these ancient sites seem the sun was integral in how they were laid out. Here is a map of Egypt. Great Pyramids up here by Cairo, come down here, here is Aswan, all the way down here, Lake Nasser, here is Napta Playa, right down here, it says Napta Playa stands some 700 miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza, it was built more than 7,000 years ago, making Napta Playa the oldest stone circle in the world, and that's up for some speculation, I guess, and possibly the oldest astronomical observatory. It was constructed by a cattle-worshipping cult of nomadic people to mark the summer solstice in the arrival of monsoon season. Right down there, Napta Playa, southern Egypt. Now, it doesn't say this in the article, but I believe this is a reconstruction of what was found out in the desert. I believe this is at the Nubia Museum near Aswan. But it says, here is human beings' first attempt to make some serious connection with the heavens. This was the dawn of observational astronomy. What in the world did they think about it? Did they imagine these stars were gods? And what kinds of connections did they have with the stars and the stones? It's all something to think about. But remember, this happened 7,000 years ago. They were making connections to these very important days and to the stars and the themes. That's what they were doing during dynastic Egyptian history also. It says the first astronomers, the people who did the new research out here, recalled some archaeoastronomy in the American Southwest when they were doing their research out here, when they were trying to figure out what was going on at Napta Playa. It says, I discovered that these stones are part of an alignment that radiated out from a major tumulus. A pile of these megaliths formed the covering of a tomb, and it turned out that every one of the megaliths that we found buried in the sediment formed a line like spokes in a wheel radiating out. That's some very interesting research down at this site. Here are some sorghum grains. These seem to be grown in the area thousands of years ago. It says the first strong evidence for people at Napta Playa appears around the year 9000 BC or around 11,000 years ago or centuries after the Younger Dryas ended. 
And when people seem to scatter all around the world to bring civilization to different parts of the world, we have Gobekli Tepe popping up at that time. Did some really enlightened people come to this area and give these people the knowledge of the stars? Well, I really wonder. In case some of you don't know, they pulled this cow sculpture out of the ground, 23 feet below the ground, seven meters down, they pulled this out of the ground. These people had an intricate knowledge of the stars here at Napa Playa 7,000 years ago. Talks about cow worship, fertility goddesses, and of course Hathor comes to mind. Did this all evolve out of something that was already existing before the gymnastic Egyptians came along? Well, it seems the cow goddess was very special to these people. Downs the years, a couple thousand years at least before dynastic Egypt started. It talks about oryx, how the oryx was special to these people in Napta Playa. And of course, people up at Chatelahoyuk, I have talked about this in other places in Turkey, had those oryx horns in their homes 7,000 years ago. I find it really interesting. People arrived in Napta Playa about 11,000 years ago about five, 600 years after the Younger Dryas ended, and then they were doing astronomical observations. Observations, at least based on this circle, came at 7,000 years ago. But how long were they doing observations? Did people arrive 11,000 years ago? Interesting question, but I guess about 5,000 years ago, this area of the Egyptian desert really dried out, became uninhabitable, and people kind of left when people came in 1998 started publishing research papers on this. A lot of people came to this area and kind of wrecked the site. I think it's cool that Astronomy Magazine recognized this ancient Egyptian site here. They call it the world's first astronomical site ever. That is a video on Napa Playa. Not much to be seen here on Google Earth. You can see a few things below the sand, but some new research done here. This site goes back at least 7,000 years as far as the circles go, but People arrived here 11,000 years ago. Out here, there was a big lake out here. But when the desert dried up, people went away. The site was kind of rediscovered about 20, 25 years ago. That's a video coming from Egypt. Hope you thought that was enjoyable. And you all have a very nice day.